What? <laughs> Good morning! So guys, I was just brushing her teeth and I had to stop because I needed to show you guys. She's just so freaking cute when I brush her teeth. Brush your teeth. Oh, let go. Let go. Let go. Let me see your teeth first. Let me see your teeth first. Let go. Let go. Get your gums. Nice clean mouth. Ooh. Oh, I poked you hard. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's rinse. You. All right, show them your nice, shiny, pearly whites. Ah, 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 ah. Look at my teeth. Look at my teeth. <laughs> Look at my teeth. No, you're not playing with toilet paper. All right, I'll talk to you guys after I get to finish getting ready, but I just needed to show you. Yeah. Actually, can you guys do me a quick favor? I have to go wash my face. So, can you wash the baby for me? Thank you. I just, these are the pants that I got her yesterday at Old Navy, the little leggings. They're size 12 to 18 months. Come on, baby girls, I'm junky, junky legs. And I still feel like, I mean, I guess the legs are fine, but I feel like the waistband is a little tight. And I just don't know what to do about it. Because, I mean, they're still long on her because she's got short legs, but I don't know. Maybe it's just Old Navy. All right, so I'm here in the shop trying to get some work done. My Grammy came over to watch the baby, so I just came back out. I was able to get the first coat on some of these dressers. I don't know if you can see it. But now I'm trying to get her to take a nap. And she's not really falling asleep, even though the other day she did take a nap here in her packing place. So I know she's capable of it. But my grandma was just like, go back outside, let her cry for like 10 minutes, and then I'll go down there and console her so she doesn't fall asleep. So, that's what I'm doing. Although, thinking that my baby could be inside crying is kind of breaking my heart a little bit. But, you gotta do what you gotta do. And she's fed and changed and all that is good. So now I gotta try and, oh actually I have to paint the drawers. But it's been take it took me like an hour just to clean these dressers because they were kind of crap. But they were free and once I got there, I didn't want to be like, no, I'm not taking them anymore. So I just took them. But they were covered in stickers and tape and that is the worst to get off. And they were so dirty. So I got the dressers cleaned and painted and now I got to do the drawers. Which I should have just cleaned them when I did the dressers. But I was just like, let me put some paint on it and deal with it after. So let's do that. I forgot to take the hardware off first. <gasps> and of course, the drill is dead. Guess who's still awake? This girl! The whole time I was in the shower, I thought she was sleeping, but apparently she wasn't. So daddy went in and rescued her. My hope is that she sleeps all the way to the dress shop because it's like an hour away or else we're all in trouble. Yes, oh my goodness. I think she's just so delirious. She didn't end up taking that nap at my mom's house either. Huh. I love you. Thank you for the kiss. Ah, I'm so afraid you're gonna bite me every time she gives me kisses. All right, now mama's gotta do her makeup, okay? Here, take your makeup brush. Now let's get to work. Woo! 
Okay, we just left dress shopping. I didn't film any of that because it was very, very hectic. Getting a bunch of girls to agree on a dress is not easy. But next to the place is this cookie shop called Crumble Cookie. And in this, I don't know if it's everywhere, but in our area, it is so hyped up. Like everyone talks about it, raves about it. You see it all over Instagram and we've never tried it. So of course we have to go in and see what's up. What the heck? Smells good. Got a brownie batter, a peanut butter brittle, a golden Oreo, and a funfetti something. But funfetti something, I don't know. And they're warm. I was gonna wait, but I can't. So I'm gonna, you gotta eat it when it's hot, right? So I'm gonna try the brownie one. God, guys what a day it's like 8 30 and we're just getting home i just put charlotte down she was a trooper i will give her that especially for not having a single nap all day she was not herself but she hung in there so that was good but i just need to show you guys what i ended up oh so we were able to get the girls dresses i'm not sure if i told you that part um, so I'll try and find pictures and insert them now. But unfortunately, one of my sisters lives in New Jersey and with her still being in school, she couldn't travel and whatever. So she wasn't able to come with us and try them on. But I think the dress will still look beautiful on her. So I had two of my sisters and Chris's sister there. Um, one of my sisters, Emery, she's a um, maid of honor. So she got a different style of dress. I'll find the pictures now and insert it. Um, but they're all the same color. I love the color, which is so weird how that works because like in the certain material, they got like a satin silk kind of material dress. And I loved this color in the satin, but on a different fabric, I hated the color. So it's so weird how that works. But anyways, it's pretty. And then I will show you guys the other girls dresses right now. But I thought they'd be really nice. They're flowy. They're definitely fit for the beach. So that's good. Um, I tried to look for a flower girl dress, but they didn't have any and it, like not a single one that was even like remotely near Charlotte size. Like the smallest one I saw was a 3T. So I, I think we're just gonna have to order it online because I've looked in Macy's and everywhere and I can't find like a fancy dress like that for a baby, which is ridiculous. I mean, at the time she'll be 15 months, but I mean, come on, there should be at least some dresses for them, but there isn't. But I did find this for her. I think it's so cute. Actually, Emery found it. It's a silk little baby robe. And on the back, I don't know if you guys can see it. It says flower girl. That's what that was so cute. So obviously I had to get that for her. But I cannot wait any longer. So let's go try one of those cookies. You guys saw me try one there, the brownie batter one. And my first, when it first hit my taste buds, I actually kind of thought it tasted bad. I don't know, and the more I ate it, it was like getting better, but I, if that's what they all taste like, I really don't understand the hype because it was not that good. But let's see. Which one do I want to try? I think I'm gonna try that one. Hopefully you guys won't be able to see it down below because I already took my jeans off and I'm just wearing underwear. All right, I just want a small piece because I am full from that Chick-fil-A. But, let's see. The Wow, it's really soft. I'm usually not like an icing fan or a frosting fan, but... Yeah, this one's good. Much better than the brownie one. Although, in the brownie's defense, I didn't try much of it. I just like tried a little piece of the end. So maybe when you go in, like it's better. I don't know. But this one's good. I don't know. I'm gonna try the rest. Not tonight, but at some point and see my thoughts. But I really shouldn't be eating this, especially the Chick fil A, because we're going to the fair tomorrow. And I know I'm gonna eat a bunch of shit there. 
but YOLO, right? So, it's been a very long day. I'm exhausted and I'm annoyed because I didn't publish my video for today from yesterday. I didn't publish it. I'll edit it, thumbnail, title, everything's already on there. All I do is press one button this morning. I didn't do it. But I've been gone since 8.30 and I only came back here for like an hour to get ready. So, I don't know. I didn't publish it. So, I'm going to put that one up for tomorrow because I am not editing tonight. I'm way too tired. I got to take my makeup off. Watch some Game of Thrones because, I don't know, tomorrow's going to be a long day too. I have Charlotte's doctor's appointment at 8.30, which I'm actually good that I scheduled it that early. I didn't even know I scheduled it that early, but I'm glad because we're going to the fair after that. So, the fun funny one was good. I have to stay like this so you don't see my bottoms. We'll see what Chris thinks. I sent him a picture and he was like, oh my god, I hate you. Because me and him have been talking about going here forever. But hey, what can you do? One in Rome, right? At least I brought him some because there's no way I'm eating all those. They're four and they're huge. But anyways, I'm going to go see if I can try and find the pictures of the bridesmaids dresses because I also want to show Chris. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright, bye.